I think he comes to the belt here to win it. One that shows fight. Good afternoon and welcome to the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. And coach, we get a chance to talk after a really impressive win at Oberlin on Saturday, a 66-20 victory. You had 12 offensive possessions. You scored on 10 of those. Uh, you had touchdowns on nine of those uh, possessions. Uh, the last possession, you just took a knee to, to run out the clock. You had one punt. It was really a, a solid offensive performance for your group and a good defensive performance as well. Well, I think it's a combination of uh, a bunch of, bunch of veterans on offense playing well and then certainly an Oberlin football team that's struggling right now to kind of find their identity. Liam Thompson went 24 of 26 passing. He set the Wabash single game record by completing 19 passes in a row. Uh, had an opportunity to make it 23, but uh, one little drop in that mix. Uh, really was efficient for the half and, and single series that he played. Receiving core, another great day. Uh, Derek Allen Jr., whom we'll talk to here in just a minute over 100 yards receiving. That's five consecutive games. You've had at least one receiver with over 100 yards. And the running game was impressive. Donovan Snyder with three touchdown rushes. Xavier Tyler came in and had a really good day. His first 100-yard effort, his first career collegiate touchdown. Uh, Cade Campbell was solid. Uh, Connor Grimes, before he went out with the injury, had a good day as well. Uh, just really a solid performance across the board in those two areas, the passing and running game. Yeah, I think you're just naming they're really good football players, and uh, they were ready to play Saturday. Owen oh, Volk led the way with a couple of sacks. Uh, uh, the defense was able to come up with five sacks in the ball game. Uh, how much of a confidence boost is that for that defensive unit to be able to get that kind of pressure? You've got an interception. Uh, you were able to really disrupt. You mentioned Oberlin struggling a bit, but still the defense has to go out and, and perform, and they were able to do that on Saturday. I think if you look at our last few games, starting with Wittenberg, uh, Ohio Wesleyan, uh, and Oberlin, we are playing better on defense, and our hope is to continue to improve. I did mention that we had a chance to talk to Derek Allen Jr. He had 140 receiving yards on five catches, two big uh, pass receptions on Saturday. Uh, let's listen to what Derek had to say about the game. Our next segment on the Don Morrell Show, where we get a chance to talk to one of the coaches or players of the Little Giant football program. Our guest this week is Derek Allen Jr., a junior wide receiver for the Little Giants. And Derek, you're coming off of a really big game on Saturday against Oberlin, five receptions, 140 yards, one touchdown. Tell me about that performance, having a big 140-yard game, you know, one of the best of your career. Uh, what was that like on Saturday? You had a couple of big catches. Uh, you, know, you were able to get behind the defense a couple of times. Yes, uh, just kind of take me through the game on Saturday. Uh, you know, Saturday I just went in uh, thinking and taking it like every other game. Uh, I know it was Oberlin, but I wanted to treat it like it was Wittenberg or any any big game like that. So uh, I just went in there, you know, played my game, and the stats turned out how they how they did. With the rest of the schedule coming up, uh, you you mentioned you know treating every game like it's the biggest game. Is that really what's important coming down this stretch? You've got Hiram this mm -hmm. week, Kenyon next week. Of course, the game following that doesn't need mm -hmm. any uh, hyping, but <laughs> You know, if if the Little Giants continue to play the way they're playing right now, there are opportunities beyond the Monon Bell game. We won't go into those right, details, right. but but is it does that really make it important to focus on this game against Hiram as if it is the biggest game on the schedule? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Coach Morrell is always on us at practice about treating every game like it's the biggest game of the year, just so we don't lose focus and fall behind and. Uh, when they, when we do come to the Bell game, you know, don't play to our best abilities or underestimate them. So that's why we try to treat every game like it's the biggest game of the year. I mentioned you had 140 receiving yards this past weekend. 
That's now the fifth consecutive game that a little giant receiver has been over 100 yards. And, and sure. you mentioned Wittenberg a little earlier. Mm -hmm. In the Wittenberg game, it really seemed like they were determined they were going to not allow <laughs> you to make the big play. Yeah. Which was fine because mm -hmm. Cooper Sullivan had a big day, Cade Campbell had a big day, Penn Stoller had, continued to have you know big games at the tight end position. Okay. How important is it to have that depth, that wide receiver, knowing that you know one game it might be you over a hundred yards right. with two or three touchdown receptions, the next game it might be Cooper, it might mm -hmm. be Heisman Skeens, mm -hmm. uh, it might be Connor Thompson making yeah. a big catch coming off the bench, yes, uh, Penn Stoller from the tight end <clears throat> position. How how important is that that your group succeeds as a group to help you all individually? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think just having that much depth and that mu that many weapons on offense, I think it just takes a lot of pressure off the offense in general, like the whole offense. Uh, I think it takes a lot of pressure off Liam, uh, knowing that he has fresh guys out there every every time he snaps the ball. Um, and I think just having that much depth in the receiver core just just keeps the offense fresh, keeps everybody moving, and just having that many weapons is, is lethal and dangerous. You guys are also a fairly young group, yes, sir. mostly juniors. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Heisman Skeens, the, the lone senior mm -hmm. in the group. I mean, the fact you guys have all kind of come along together, mm -hmm. how does that help you as a group as you've continued to develop as, as that, that core unit? Um, I think it just helps us uh, coach each other up and make each other better each day, knowing that uh, we have young guys that have the potential to get on the field once, you know, we're done with our time here. So we just do our best to, um, you know, just coach each other up, make each other better every day, and just keep fighting. You mentioned Liam Thompson, uh, leading passer in Division Three right now, total okay. passing yards. He's among the active all-time career leaders in Division Three. What's it like to play wide receiver and and have a pass coming in right. from Liam Thompson that that you know you know you're going to get an opportunity to make right. a big play on? Yes, sir. Uh, coming out of Warren Central, uh, my senior year, we lacked at that quarterback spot, so uh, we actually had our tight end playing quarterback, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, but. Um, when Coach Morell and Coach Reardon did their home visit and they came in talking about a really good quarterback that we're going to have, I didn't, I didn't really like know exactly what they meant by that. But uh, Liam is a is a great player. I think he's um, he's one of the best in in D three football in the country. So uh, just having him at that QB spot, it just it just helps me out a lot, knowing that he's going to put the ball in the right spot. Even if he has to scramble out, he's going to keep his eyes downfield and find me. So I think that just helps me a lot in being a great receiver. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Derek. Uh, let's let folks find out what you're majoring in, what okay. maybe your plans after Wabash are, and some other activities you're involved in on campus. Okay. Um, I am a, I'm majoring in art, uh, minor in black studies. Um, after college, I plan on... Uh, Really, I want to go as far as football can take me, uh, but you know, I always got to have a plan B. Uh, so that plan B is probably uh, going to grad school, and I want to become an architect. So uh, might have to do that. Uh, football doesn't work out the way I want it to, and um, any other thing I'm uh, I'm doing on campus is um, I'm a part. I'm a member in the um, Malcolm X Institute of Black Studies on campus. Uh, other than that, um, I'm just. Uh, trying to be a student athlete. And a good student athlete at that. Derek <laughs> Allen, junior wide receiver, a junior wide receiver on the Wabash College football team, our guest today on the Don Morrell Show. Soccer. A, a chance to chat with uh, Derek Allen. Good interview with him and, and a great young man. And looking forward, to, as he mentioned, just trying to be a good student athlete. Uh, he is certainly that, and he has had just a tremendous year this year. He's among the leaders in receptions and in touchdown receptions and yardage within the North Coast Athletic Conference and certainly appears in the national rankings as well. He's going to be somebody as you head down this stretch, particularly starting with this game Saturday against Hiram, that, that really continues to be a good target for Liam uh, on, on offense. Absolutely, and Derek possesses so many great 
qualities beyond the athletic. He's a tough-minded guy, uh, highly intelligent, highly driven guy, uh, and you know, I just can't say enough nice things about him. Uh, on the field, he is a tough, tough kid. Well, moving to that game this weekend, back at home, Little Giants take on Hiram, and this will be one that the defense will get a, a good test because you're going to face the leading rusher in the conference. Malcolm Rogers averages 127 yards a game on the ground. Uh, they have a good freshman quarterback who has played uh, very well. Uh, some good receivers. So this will be another good test for the defense Saturday. It will. I think the two freshmen, as you mentioned, the quarterback and the running back, they're fearless and they, they play every game like they have nothing to lose. So we are going to have to play a great game out of the gate. Um, they came very close to beating Denison two or three weeks ago. Um, and Hiram has improved. I think some teams in our conference have fallen off since the season got going. Hiram certainly is not one of them. With some of the results that took place, you know, two weeks ago we talked about, and then again we had a, a couple of scores come in Saturday that proved helpful for Wabash in terms of the conference standings. It's now separated. There are two one-loss teams in the conference, Wabash and DePaul, and you don't like to make estimations on how games might go, but if you base things on records, you would think that that's going to make the Monon Bell game in just a couple of weeks an even bigger game than it normally is. But your team, talking to the guys, and I know talking to you and the rest of the coaching staff, um, the focus still seems to be, and, and rightfully so, on the opponent directly in front of you. It is. It's Hiram this week. And I think we've learned from the last, the previous two seasons, anybody, uh, one, anybody can beat Wabash College on any given day. Two, especially in this facility and this stadium, we get everybody's best shot. This is the best place to play in the conference. What do you have to do Saturday to keep Hiram's offense in check and have success against their defense? Uh, number one, understand Hiram is going to hit some plays on us. A football game takes an hour to play. They have good players. They're going to hit some plays. Uh, we can't allow the big one-play uh, touchdown. We can't allow that. And then like any other football game, I believe, the team that makes the fewest mistakes will win the game. That game is a 1 o'clock start on Saturday here at Little Giant Stadium. Jim Amadon, Steve Hoffman will have the call for you if you can't make it in person. Would love to have you in person. Uh, there will be a special tribute to not only the Wabash ROTC program, uh, but uh, military veterans as well prior to the kickoff of Saturday's game. Uh, tickets are available at sports.wabash.edu slash tickets. But if you cannot make it to the game, Steve and Jim will have the broadcast for you at sports.wabash.edu slash WCVN the Wabash College Video Network. It's also available on the Wabash College Video Network app on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and you can download the app on mobile devices from the Apple Store and Google Play as well. Pre-game for that will begin at about 12.40 with this show before Jim Amadon and Steve Hoffman take you through the ball game. Coach, thank you so much. Best of luck on Saturday, and I know we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you. You've been watching the Don Morrell Show, your chance to hear the thoughts and comments of the head football coach of the Little Giant program. We will talk to you next week. I think you come to the Belgium to win it. Wabash always fight.